the movie's about uh, two young artists in LA who fall in love and uh, whose dreams sort of intersect, bring them together and tear them apart. Um, and the story is told uh, through uh, big musical numbers, uh, like the musicals I grew up watching and, and I've always loved and wanted to do my version of. I know what it feels like to come to LA and also for me in New York um, and have a dream to be an artist and to have your, uh, have your music or your art or your talent shared with the rest of the world and um, that's really a lot of what this film's about and I think that that emotion is very relatable. There's so much that I can't see I don't think I've ever seen a movie about that very specific moment sort of like the beginning of your art and your career and how difficult it is to be in a relationship with someone where you so want to become a great actor, a great musician, a great director, and how hard that balance is and you're so passionate about it. I definitely could relate to moving out to LA to be um, an actor and auditioning mm -hmm. a lot um, and being rejected a lot. Um, but I don't, I, she also felt pretty different from me. What musicals do you guys remember being part of sort of your personal history, your upbringing? Wizard of Oz, The Wiz. Oh yeah, Wizard of Oz. I was a real Broadway fiend, so it was a lot of stage musicals for me, like Les Mis and, you know, Rent. I was very into Rent. No, is this the start of something wonderful? There's a scene that she, one of her audition scenes was kind of, we, Damien had us talk a lot about uh, those experiences before and he incorporated a lot of that stuff into the script. So there's a scene where she has, uh, has to get emotional in an audition and then halfway through the casting director takes a call. And uh, that was... Uh, that happened to you? Yeah, that had happened. I got so mad at those casting directors yeah. when I was watching them. I was like, who does this? It's so rude. People really do that. You're wrong. Yeah. Yeah. They do that specifically to him. <laughs>